Bonjour et bienvenue à Language Please. Dans cette leçon, on aborde l'imparfait. On voit comment on utilise l'imparfait. On voit l'importance de l'imparfait. L'imparfait veut dire imperfect tense. Imperfect tense. It exists in English too. Imperfect tense. Though it's not that common in English, but it is very dominant in French. Imperfect tense simply refers to habitual or prolonged actions in the past. Habitual or prolonged actions in the past. For example, if I want to say, when I was small, I used to drink so much water. I used to drink water. When I was small, I used to drink water. That is an habitual action. I used to do something. So it was an habit in the past. To so express that, you use imperfect tense. In French, you use imparfait. Also, you used to express past conditions or situations. You used to express past conditions or situations. For example, I can say last year, last year, I, I was depressed. Not me. <laughs> last year, uh, Melanie, Melanie was depressed. But now, she's okay or she's all right. Last year, Melanie was depressed. This, this is a past condition, a past condition. Let me say mental or psychological condition. So express this in French, use the, the tense imparfait. That is the importance of imparfait. You have just two. To express habitual or prolonged actions in the past. Used to express past conditions or situations. Now, how do we express imparfait? We know the verbs already, but how do we conjugate verbs in imparfait? Très bien. That's what we will see now. Voyez, we will start with first group verbs. First group verbs. That is verbs that end with ER and follow a regular pattern of conjugation. For example, danser. Danser. So conjugate any verb. Most especially first group verb. Any first group verb in imparfait. That is in imperfect tense in French. What you do first is... How do you conjugate it in present tense for the person nous? For example, danser in present l'indicatif is nous dansons. Nous dansons. Now, from this, you take the stem you use to conjugate imparfait. That is, you remove ONS, what remains is dance. That dance is what you use to conjugate imparfait. So you replicate it here. Dance. Dance, 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 et dance. Vous voyez? Now what do I do? For you, it is A-I-S, I add. So I add A-I-S here and that gives me je danse, which means I used to dance or I was dancing. I used to dance or I was dancing. I had AIS also for tu, AIS, and that gives me tu dansais. You used to dance or you were dancing. Il, AIT, il dansait. He used to dance or he was dancing. Now, for nous, elle, the same thing, AIT, elle dansait. She used to dance or she was dancing. For nous, it is I O N S. I O N S. Nous dansions. Nous dansions. We used to dance or we were dancing. Now for vous, I E Z. Vous dansiez. You all used to dance or you were dancing. And for il, the last, il dansait. Attention. I -E N T E is not pronounced. I -E N T E is not pronounced. So we say il. Dansait. Il dansait. Je dansais, tu dansais, il dansait, elle dansait, nous dansions, vous dansiez, il dansait, elle dansait. So let's see a sentence with the verb danser à l'imparfait. For example, I can say, quand. Oh, I can say, en l'an. En l'an. 1982. En l'an 1982, that is in the year 1982, 
in the year 1982. Je dansais beaucoup. Je dansais beaucoup. That is, I used to dance a lot. In the year 1982, I used to dance a lot. En 1982, je dansais beaucoup. Vous voyez? Imparfait, used to express habitual or prolonged actions in the past. So let's see another verb, another ER verb, another first group verb conjugated à l'imparfait. The first step, you conjugate it first for the person you know au présent de l'indicatif. Remove O and S and that gives you the stem that you used to conjugate the imperfect tense. So let's see, let's see another one. For example, I can see door, no, pleurer, pleurer, pleurer means to cry, pleurer means to cry, pleurer means to cry, pleurer, to cry. Now, how do I conjugate the verb pleurer à l'imparfait? How do I conjugate the verb to cry in imperfect tense? Firstly, I conjugate this in present tense for the person nous. I conjugate this in present tense for the person nous. So what I say is nous pleurons. Nous pleurons. What's the next step? I remove O N S and what remains is pleur. Nous pleurons. I remove O N S. What remains is pleur. And this is the step for imparfait. So what do I do? I replicate it for all the pronouns. Remember, first step, conjugate it for nous in present tense. Remove O and S. What remains is the stem for imparfait. So I say, je pleure, tu pleures, il pleure, elle pleure, nous pleure, vous pleure, et il pleure. Très bien. Now the next step. The next step is you add the various endings for the verb. So for you, it is AIS and that gives me je pleurais. That is I was crying or I used to cry. For you, I add AIS. Tu pleurais. You were crying or you used to cry. Now for il. A-I-T. Il pleurait. He was crying or he used to cry. For elle, A-I-T too. Elle pleurait. She was crying or she used to cry. For nous, I-O-N-O-S. Nous pleurions. We were crying or we used to cry. For vous, vous pleuriez. You were crying or you used to cry. Then for il, il pleurait. They were crying or they used to cry. Je pleurais, tu pleurais, il pleurait, elle pleurait, nous pleurions. Remember, pleurions. Vous pleuriez, il pleurait et elle pleurait. Très bien. So, let's form a sentence with this verb and see how it sounds. Quand Quand Cruchot, quand Cruchot était jeune, quand Cruchot était jeune, that is when Cruchot was, was young, when Cruchot was still young, il pleurait tous les jours. Quand Cruchot était jeune, il pleurait tous les jours. When Krishu was still young, when Krishu was young, he used to cry every day, every single day, tous les jours. Quand Krishu était jeune, when Krishu was a child, he, il pleurait tous les jours. He used to cry every day. He used to cry every day. So let's see other verbs that you will conjugate in imperfect. Verbs like chanter. Badine and Batifoli. Très bien.
Conjuguer these three verbs in imparfait and see you in the next class. Sur ce, je m'arrête pour aujourd'hui et on se verra dans la prochaine classe. Merci et à la prochaine.